You better like and subscribe! Subscribe now! I'm not even gonna try to joke when starting this video, this one's just really fucking sad. A VTuber that's been known throughout the community as one of everybody's favorite golden girl was Pikami. She works for a smaller agency, her model design was always so fucking original and breathtaking, and not to mention the person behind the model was such a wholesome little goober who just wanted to get on the internet and have fun. Sadly, people just wouldn't let her do that, and now we don't get to have nice things. Pikami thought that would be a great idea for her to try to stream Hogwarts Legacy, as she should be allowed to. It's her freedom as a gamer and as a VTuber to do as she wants to do. I told myself when I started commentary again about a week ago that I wouldn't make these videos out of anger, or, like, emotion, but I can't help but be upset over this one. I can't help but bring up how ridiculous this was. I told everybody that Pikami disappeared in the first video back, which you can go watch that if you want to, don't really care, that's not the point here. The internet basically bullied Pikami to the point where she disappeared, apologized, and I'm willing to bet that she has been gone for a week because of all the bullying. If y'all don't know, Pikami was actually bullied a lot in her youth for very frivolous and dumb reasons, whether it be about her being half American or half Asian, I believe. I don't want to make quotes on that situation because it wasn't my situation to make quotes on. But, uh, due to that bullying, she's now graduating. If you don't know what graduation is, it's a VTuber term for I quit. At the end of the month, all of Pikami's content will disappear. She will disappear. And if you watch Pikami, then you're probably very upset. You're probably wondering, who do we blame for this problem? Who do we blame for this content? Well, before Pikimi's graduation, the people that were causing her the most distress were the whiny bitchy VTubers on Twitter who do nothing but sit there and whine about problems rather than actually making content for people to enjoy. If you're not one of those people, then by all means, I mean nothing to you. If you don't sit around on Twitter making shitty opinions and bullying people for playing video games despite the author being a terrible person, good on you. Because, I'll be honest with you, I don't give a fuck what JK Rowling has to say. She was the one that openly said that Hermione was black, when clearly in her book, Hermione wasn't black. So she's clearly not very smart on what she's talking about. What does J.K. Rowling get to do with this? Well, J.K. Rowling's the creator of Harry Potter. Harry Potter is what made Hogwarts Legacy to what it is today. And people on Twitter are upset because J.K. Rowling is a fucking idiot and has some very bad takes on the trans community and on a lot of things, honestly. And I don't see how that ties into the game, though. She had nothing to do with the game. She owns royalties, she'll make some money, boo-hoo, the rich get richer, as if that's not a common fucking thing. The point is, is that they bitched and whined and moaned so fucking hard in her comments, making such hateful fucking demeanor, that it's not hard to put two and two together. She disappeared for like a month, all of her content disappeared, now she's graduating from her agency, she's leaving, she's not coming back, you know how upsetting that is to some of us who were actually consuming her content and didn't care about the bullshit drama on Twitter? Don't get me wrong, there are horrible, disgusting, vile monsters on the internet. Pikami is not that. Pikami has never hurt anybody. She is a wholesome little goober who just wanted to stream her funny game, and everybody ruined it. It sucks to see that the internet and the majority of Twitter, no offense, is fulfilled by these belligerent fucking idiots who would rather go out of their way to attack somebody who's done nothing wrong than, I don't know, target the people that are actually doing some pretty bad shit on the internet. Now, I don't endorse harassment of any kind, but I'm going to use basic common fucking knowledge here. If you're going to target anybody for the creation of this game or people playing it, why are you not targeting JK Rowling instead? Why are you going after these small fry YouTubers? Oh, what? Oh, I know why. Because you're all a bunch of cowards and can't do anything but gang up on somebody who doesn't have a big enough following to deal with it. Like, I'm trying not to be hateful or mean or spiteful or anything, but there's a great side to the trans community. There's people I work with in the trans community, they are wonderful people. There are tons of you that are just awesome, and I would love to meet every single one of you because all of you are just so fucking great. But then there's that other half of the community that's so spiteful and angry and mean like, y'all don't really think very much. Y'all are probably the reason shampoo has instructions on it. It's like, first off, if you wanted your community and people in it to not be attacked and biased against and used as a fucking punching bag by society, which, not gonna lie, the trans community gets a lot of shit from modern day politics and everybody on the internet that they do not deserve. But the answer to the problem wasn't going out and blatantly attacking streamers, calling them transphobic, and pretending that they are attacking the trans community. Bitch, no one's attacking y'all. We just wanted to play a fucking wizard game. 
Some of us grew up with J.K. Rowling and her stupid fucking books. No offense, she might be an idiot, but I'll be damned if that bitch can't write. The same thing goes for Silvervale, the same thing goes for anybody that's been harassed by the community due to this fucking game coming out, the same goes for Pikami. Stop harassing innocent people for a problem that is out of their control and not even involved with them in the first place. You gotta remember, transsexuality is mostly a first world problem. I can't be happy to say that because it's just it just is it's a fucking first world problem it mostly happens in the united states we are the center point for trans rights and transsexuality being openly accepted it's not really a common thing in other countries and that's not that's not me assuming that's just blatant fact However, I am not justifying anybody that went out of their way to attack the trans community over this issue. It is not the entire trans community. It is a small portion of delusional assholes who would rather cause problems on Twitter than actually go out in the world and make change. I stand by the words I'm saying, and I don't think trying to force change in the way that you guys are trying to force change will ever work out for anyone. If anything, you're only making a fool of yourself and making everybody else around you that has nothing to do with the situation look equally as bad. That's enough of me taking out my personal vendetta against the V-Tweeter side of Twitter that openly makes fools of themselves on their own. They don't need me to make a fool of themselves. They're doing a pretty good job of running the circus on their own. As for Pikami, I know she'll never see this. There's no possible way that woman will ever see what I say, but I will say this because it needs to be said. Pikami has genuinely been a positive influence in my life. Uh, the way I got into VTubing was through my editor, and the way he got into VTubing was through Pikami. It was the, one of the first VTubers he saw and laughed about and dug into this rabbit hole for. If it wasn't for Pikami, I might not even be here right now as a VTuber. I might just be some normal, boring content creator with some anime weeb shit all over his fucking branding. So, I have to be grateful for her. I have to be grateful for everything that surrounds her. She's a wonderful person, and it sucks to see that she has to leave. Ultimately, it is her choice, but if it was personally me, I would have just taken a break, came back when all this shit dies down, and continued with my day. Because no matter how many people try to bully Pikami, there will always be an overwhelming number of people who have her back and support her as long as she's not doing anything immoral or wrong. So here's my final statement on the subject. If you're one of the V-Tweeters that spoke on behalf of the trans community, being hateful to Pikami, trying to boycott this game, fuck you, fuck everything you stand for, fuck your mama, your daddy, your girl, your sister, your brother, your grandma, your cat, your dog, your theories, your ideals, your dreams, your work, fuck you. You don't deserve to have an opinion. You bullied this girl into leaving the one thing that she enjoyed. You brought back childhood trauma because of some fucking game by J.K. Rowling. That wasn't even remotely involved with her. You're a terrible person. You deserve no support. And I stand by that. If you are stupid enough to bully an innocent sweet girl like Pikami over a situation she's not even remotely involved in, you are a belligerent fucking Neanderthal, and you don't deserve to have a following of any kind. You don't deserve to have an opinion. You lost your opinion rights when you used it to basically cyberbully an innocent woman into graduating and leaving her favorite line of work. You're a piece of shit. Sad to say, that's really all I gotta say on this situation. I wish Pika me the best, and uh, if you guys don't mind, I think I'll spend the remainder of my month spending what is literally the last moments we're ever going to have of any kind of Pika me content, because after this month, remember, all of her shit, everything involving her, except for maybe some clips and re-uploads, is gonna be gone. She's gonna be Unus Honest. She's gone. She's kaput. She's leaving. And that is the worst thing that I probably could have woken up to today. On a side note, I'll be okay. What you should do is go support Pikami while she's still here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Fuck V-Tweeters. Suck my dick. And I'll see you guys in the next installment. Some people are like apologizing or like a Pika, I'm sorry, I can't do any clips or like a video editing, I can't draw anything. Uh, only sport I can do is like watching you. I'm sorry, peeking me like that. And they're like, no, don't apologize. Because like a lot of people like you were watching my channel. That's why I grow this much and you guys are awesome. So every single support you did for Pika is awesome. And I very appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dale. Arigato.